If you are happy to be in the presence of the Lord this morning, shout a powerful hallelujah. If you know that the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords will not pass you by when Jesus is passing by, it will meet you at the point of your need. Shout a very big hallelujah. If you know this morning that ocean divider will arise for your sake, shout seven hallelujah louder hallelujah 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 thank you father i want you to lift up your hands to the heavens while you worship the lord with this song you are god from beginning to the end we are grateful to you making us to see the last day in this month of january father we worship your name thank you father in jesus name we pray the bible says in the book of isaiah 22 verse 22 isaiah chapter 22 verse 22 says and the key of the house of david will i lay upon his shoulder so it shall open and none shall shut and it shall shut and none shall open we serve a god that opened doors and when he opened doors no power can close the door i want you to open your mouth and shout like this say power a sign to close you are a liar. Oh, pull your mouth and declare. Powers. A sign to close my heavens. A sign to close my open doors. You are a liar. Da, 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 Powers. A sign. Close the heavens of today's service down in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this final prayer. Say, my heavens of supernatural breakthroughs. You can do more than that. My heavens of supernatural breakthroughs. In Jesus' name we are praying. Let's begin to wave our hands and watch the name of the Lord. Beautiful in holiness, the King of Kings, the I am that I am. 
etu nipa ati rin kan wa lato di oro a mystery strategy from heaven ona aditu ta muja lato ro wa that has the capacity to labara to multiply your financial wealth within days lati mu ki be niyan ti loro to ko peleke laarin ojo die that is a mystery strategy from heaven ona aditu te yan pa se nkan wa that has this strange power to ni agbara jeji of putting you in the right place at the right time to meet the right person that will unlock your destiny that if you see bito ye ni akoko to ye lati pade awon eni to ye lati le mu ki ayan mo re ko se se i would like to introduce you to a mystery strategy from heaven mo fe fi ohun aditu kan o lati odi orun that will make available to you ti yo fi le olowo what your education ohun ti eko personality eni to je abilities agbara re and career ati ise re cannot do for you ko le se fu o that is a mystery strategy from heaven ona di tu kan wa lato run to le to that can open any door for you to le si ile ku to ba wu o fun o that is a mystery strategy from heaven ohun kan wa to le se that triggers supernatural increase ti yo mu pe po si latoke wa ko bere that is a mystery strategy from heaven ona kan wa te te yan le to to je ona di tu that can make you wealthy in a single day to le so di oloro lojo that is a mystery strategy from heaven ona di tu kan wa lato run to le to that can bring restoration of everything the enemy has ever stolen from you ti yo mu ida pada bo ohun gbogbo ti ota ji lowo re that is a mystery strategy from heaven ona kan wa to je adi tu to le to that will definitely produce increased access ti yo mu ki awon nkan to ni ko po si That is a mystery strategy from heaven. Ona di tu kan wa ni patorun to le to that will open every good door closed against you. Ti yo si gbogbo ile ko rere ti won ti mo. That is a mystery strategy from heaven. Ona di tu kan wa latorun to le to that can make you a wonder to your contemporaries. So ti yo so di iya nu ati ara loju awon elegbe re. That is a mystery strategy from heaven. Ona di tu kan wa to le rin that can make men to look you and deliver your rights into your hands ti yo mu ki awon eniyan wa ori ki won si fi eto re le olowo that is a mystery strategy from heaven ona di tu kan wa to le to that has the capacity to lagbara to immunize you from the wastage of the enemy ati fun o laje sara lodi si ifini shofola to water there is a mystery strategy from heaven ona di tu kan wa to lorun le fi won o that can move you forward while others are stagnant ti yo mu o tesi wa ju nipa ta won yo ku du osoju kan that is a mystery strategy from heaven ona di tu kan wa to lorun le fi ho that can bring you out of bondage ti yo mu o kuro ninu ide and send the lord's angels ahead of you o si ran awon angeli oluwa saju re i would like to introduce you to a mystery strategy from heaven o wu mi lati fi ona kan won o lato di orun that will connect you to what seem to be a missing element in god's wealth system ti yo fi ohun kan to dabi ohun ti a o ti mo nipa eto oro to lorun se ka se mystery strategy from heaven ona kan wa to le to that connects you to the anointing of greatness ti yo so opo mo iforo royan didi nla there is a mystery strategy from heaven ona di tu kan wa ti orun le fi won that pass the capacity to launch you into success and attract blessings to your life to la gbara lati ti o si ma se yori ko si fa ibuku wonu there is a mystery strategy from heaven ona di tu kan wa to orun le fi won that pass the capacity capacity to make god an enemy to all your enemies to lagbara lati so olorun di ota gbogbo awon ota re there is a mystery strategy from heaven ona di tu kan wa that as the 
has the capacity to mysteriously enlarge your coast. That is a mystery strategy from heaven that can bring God's blessings upon your home. That is a mystery strategy from heaven that can bring forth the disgrace and destruction of your personal adversaries. That is a mystery strategy from heaven that can cause the release of powerful angels on your behalf. That can convert you to an instant millionaire. That can bring unending blessings to your home. That is actually a revelation that will launch you into the wealthy place. That is a mystery strategy from heaven that can provoke the power of healing and health. It will provoke what you call overflowing storehouses. The mystery strategy can break the spirit of poverty, mediocrity, and stagnation. That is a mystery strategy in heaven that is made available to us that can cause a net breaking miracle. Blessing that you can see handle alone is not blessing. What you need is a net breaker. Peter had to call others to help him. I prophesy upon your life here today that the power of the net breaking miracle will fall upon you in the name of Jesus. is the mystery of the first fruit offering. First fruit offering. It is good that I explain this to you. It's not a kind of message you're teaching I like doing. Because a lot of people criticize it, a lot of people will criticize you, criticize the message, criticize everything. But the Bible says, if you know how to do good and you don't do it, you're a sinner. So if I see something that has blessed my life and that has blessed the life of thousands of people I will not mind the criticism or the critics I will share it so that, so that those who can be blessed by it will be blessed by it in Genesis chapter 4 Genesis, we see the first man that brought an acceptable offering unto the Lord as far back as Genesis chapter 4. This principle has started to attract divine favor. In Genesis chapter 4, Genesis verse 3. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel he also brought of the firstlings of his flock, the first fruit of his flock. The man brought first fruit and the fat thereof. And the Lord what respect unto Abel and his offering. God had respect unto Abel and unto his offering. The first fruit that Abel gave attracted divine respect for him personally. 
and also is offering in addition do you want divine respect then you must give your first fruit just like Abel did here now in the book of Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 9 Proverbs chapter 3 verse 9 he says this honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruit of all thy increase first fruit of all thy increase first fruit of all thy increase so shall thy bands be filled with plenty and thy presses shall burst out with new wine the result is overflowing blessings overflowing blessings overflowing storehouses honor the Lord with it when you do it you honor God just like Abel honored God and got respect in Romans chapter 11 16. Romans 11 16. But if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. Once you give that first fruit, the blessings upon it affects the rest. If the first fruit is holy, the rest is holy. Remember, in the Old Testament, you have Christ concealed. In the New Testament, you find Christ revealed. In the Old Testament, you find Christ symbolized. But in the New Testament, you find Christ sacrificed. In the Old Testament, you find Christ typified. But in the New Testament, you find Christ productive. In the Old Testament, you find Christ localized. But in the New Testament, you find Christ universalized. So, we're not trying to get anything from anybody. So don't say they are trying to take your money. No, no, no. You make a mistake. Me standing before you. My needs are very little. And I have more than enough to the glory of God. And God is still blessing me. But everything took its origin. On the day I collected my first salary. As a teacher. In school. I package that for salary. I took it straight to church. I decided that I was going to be trekking to that school. That I will not remove anything from that money. Package everything. And I took it to our pastor. Who has gone to be with the Lord now? So I gave it to him. I said, Daddy, first fruit offering. This is my first salary all my life. This is the first one. He prayed. He said, Oh, God, I gave it to you. He prayed. Oh, God, I gave it to you. He prayed.
So he, he prayed on it. And he said, Thank you. And he handed it back to me. I said, No, sir. He said, Sit. He said, Eh. Hey. I should keep it. I said, Yes. So he held it. I said, Come back again. Neither. He now prayed. He said, Long time anybody has prayed for me like that. Right from the day he offered that prayer, I have not known poverty. As a result of that first fruit that was done. So, anyone who wants a large storehouse, who wants blessings that even his storehouse cannot take you should participate Opa. listen to these hard facts the hand that gives is the hand that gathers giving is the thermometer of our love for God. You say you love God? It's giving that we say it. Some people find it easier to do 21 days dry fast, 7 days dry fast than to give a good offering. But that your giving is the thermometer of your love for God. And remember something that happened when I was a student. They were paying us money. I was on a scholarship. But in this Christian fellowship we go to, there were plenty of Nigerian students, Christians, whose scholarship were not paid. I will take my own money. money Divide it. Started giving them. People love that money. All my friends that will study for pages together, they were keeping money in the bank. And when they were coming home, they were buying Mercedes Benz. They were buying all kinds of cars. They were buying vehicles. I could not afford to buy one because I gave out the money. 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 Just a testimony I want to share. I was one guy there who was very broke. And our sister with the money. He finished his study. He came to Nigeria. He became the managing director of a big printing company. When we started doing 70 days prayer and fasting, there was a particular year he had about it. And we needed money here that time we just started not too long he just came in took the books and did it free why there was a seed I sowed many years back that is yielding fruit now your offering is actually your faith in action and your uncommon sowing will always create uncommon harvest. Those who are always holding, 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 keeping, 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 they don't get. I want him full come on, come, think how what in if you want to change what you are getting from God, then change what you are giving Him. If you so much, you will reap much. You so little, you reap little. I 
você botar uma, eu dou um rava, dou um monte de de pão, eu não vou dar pão, eu nem vou pão. If you are stingy as a poor man, you will be stingy as a rich man. Boba, a woke a be a little tea, lobo, but to bad lobo, oh, a one God judges us by what we give. God judges us by what we have left after we say we have given. So giving to God in any format, whether first fruit, whether it's tithe, whether it's offering, whatever it is, whatever name they call it, once it's given to God, you are putting your money in the best bank. And if you don't trust the pastors, you think they are going to steal your money. No problem at all. Just find out how you can locate the address of the Almighty. And take it there yourself. But do it so that you can be blessed. No one has ever been honored in this life for what he has received. But people were honored for what they had given. So whatever name it is called, give to God. Abel gave his first fruit and God respected him. Abel, if you're a costal, as he lay, if you do the real phone. There are widows, Sarifat, has only one meal at home. Oh, Sarifat, you get to show look who lay. She gave it out as a first fruit. Oh, Fisile, you're a costal, and she had. Millions. The principle of the widow illustrates that no matter how little we have, it is in the release of that little you have portions for miracles. But if you told it. That's a problem. You want to have a full come on. Wala wa. So givers will get. I want to fi funi mwa mariba. Keepers will lose. I want to awo mwa ma padanu. The word first fruit in Hebrew. Ninu eberu e orota apeni akoso. It's a word called bikurim. Bikurim. Bikurim means the promise to come. Otu masi ileri tiyowa. Promise to come. So once you do it, those promises that are coming, I will let it on board. You be able to key into it. Only tarabo. God claims the first foot of anything. They know go go alone man ba. It rightfully belongs to him in divine order. So when we apply this principle, we make God first in our lives. And if you, if in the beginning of the year like this, you give your first fruit offering, you are planting a seed for the remainder of the year. For everything you have is a gift from God. So you have an option to sow it for greater harvest or to keep it. I want to confirm to you that there is a greater portion that awaits you in honor of you giving your first foot offer. I challenge you to put those first things first and honor God. Start activating the word by offering God your first fruit as a seed for harvest in this year. Or any subsequent year, I be to part of it. Oh, every day of your life, the book of the a man went to a Christian meeting. Okuri kon lo ipade Christian and they were raising offering to buy something. What's in Baure? Let's be around. They were collecting the money. Bomba uwo, bomba lo. 
So he now sent a note forward. Say God has blessed me. Say tell the people who are contributing. To work hard. So that because anything everybody gives. I will double it. So they announced. So there is a man here who said, contribute to when? Whatever you give, I will double it. The people there said, what kind of insult is this? They contributed and contributed and contributed. And they asked him, how much was it? He wrote a check to double it. Over cost of we do wo that he get no kumejire. I'm beginning from then. That your joy hello is wealth catapulted. Oh Rory, over kuleke. The man who discovered the Colgate toothpaste we're using now. Okuni kanto she she for you Colgate. And the man who discovered the mentholator you use. Ati okuni to she awari mentholator. They got in there because they sold. What they be? A huge seed unto God. So the first offering is a principle to demonstrate that God is first in your life. It's not tight. That one is different. And the first fruit is not just for February, February alone. No, 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 no. Or they are also kissing each other. Oh, she can't do. 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 You had an old job and you were promoted. The increase there between your old salary and the new one is a, a fast route. You give it. If your heart is condemning you that why should I remove from it, then give it all. Give it all. The first one can be the portion you receive from the sale of something. And those who have been blessed for me, they will hear some of their testimonies. So when you give your first offering, God will protect your increase. God will chase away those opposition to your increase. God will now enlarge your course of blessings. God will provoke supernatural supply to your life. It will cause a flow of abundance and ability to even save your fee is shown we posi at the other latin lady confit pamo your your so god will place his blessing upon the whole of your household along your fee book on sorry but we later then most importantly you go go there it will command his blessing upon the rest of your increase your passion a book on it sorry to go you know it was here that will now catapult you to the next level it will you are going to lose it will be total come it will secure your harvest you double go in korea to release anointing upon your life. But when you hold back, you open the door of attacks upon even what you think you are keeping. But when you give, you attract divine increase and blessings. Then you will enjoy what you call divine comprehensive insurance. So I cannot see a thing as useful as this. And not share. 
you. So for those who have not been doing it, and just changing yourself. You're cheating yourself. Cutting short areas where God will have opened uncommon doors unto you. Where you give your first fruit instead of shame, you will receive double portion. It may be very hard. Very hard. But that's the kind of offering that provokes blessings. David wanted to give an offering to God. And somebody said, Take it free of charge. Said, No. It must cost me something. It must cost me something. All sacrificial giving brings breakthrough. The first fruit offering will launch you into uncommon success. And it will attract blessings in your life. It will bring you out of bondage and allows the angels of God to surround you. And once that first fruit is blessed, the rest too is blessed. That first fruit connects you to the anointing of the God's servant or the prophet upon your life. It ensures that your increase will be holy. And to release God's healing and long life upon your life. The first fruit will ensure that the destruction debt lack poverty bondage they travel far away from so with all these advantages you should plan to participate not only that you should make it a principle of life so that God will open great doors unto you close your eyes where you are did you ready to why close your eyes where you do ready to why begin to tell the Lord to make you an instrument of uncommon blessings instrument of powerful breakthroughs instrument of powerful Setting testimonies. Oh, my Lord. I to Lagbara. Team get. I get it. I show you. Talk to the Lord now. Talk to the Lord about yourself now. Talk to the Lord about yourself now. And begin to make up your mind what you are going to do. For the first fruit service is coming. This coming palm of St. Jason February. And you see a lot of people coming into uncommon wealth as they participate. If you have not been participating before, it will be a tragedy if you don't participate in this one. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. May the Lord God bless you real good. May the Lord God bless you real good. He brought you here to bless your life. May the Lord God bless you real good. Amen. You are most welcome to this wonderful service. Please let's pick up our hymn book as we open to hymn number 66. Hymn number 66. The God of Abraham praise. The God of Abraham praise. The God of Abraham praise who reigns in throne above and shines
verse 5. Seven seven six. So, sorry, in seven eight three. Seven eight three. Take time to be holy. Speak up with thy Lord. Take time to be holy. Take time to be holy. Christmas too. the glory of god many of our viewers have been blessed and are delighted to share their testimonies with you once again we know you'll be blessed as you listen the first testimony says in the great physician hour i told god to heal me financially and enlarge my coast to the glory of god my personality suddenly changed and i now have peace of mind Thank you, Jesus. The next one goes like this. I give praise to God for the salvation of my soul and the souls of my family members. I thank God for healing me from internal decay. During one of the online programs, when Dr. Olukea mentioned my case, I keyed into it and God delivered me from mouth odor and neck pain. Secondly, my son who was bedwetting has stopped to the glory of God. Also, I came across a message preached by Dr. Lukoya on YouTube about sending back the evil arrow. I listened to it, prayed the prayer points, then was led to add this prayer point. Every arrow assigned to depose me of my possession, go back to the sender in Jesus' name. That night, God opened my eyes and the person that was in charge of my landing property handed everything to me. God gave me victory over the household enemies and I now have my property back. Ever since God brought me to MFM, I have gone from victory to victory. I never suffer defeat from the enemy. May God continue to bless Dr. Lukaya, his family and ministry. In Jesus' name, Amen. Glory be to God. Another testifier says, I used to always face attacks by the spirit husband. After I connected to the Great Physician Hour program, I slept and the spirit husband came again, but this time I beat him seriously. And since then, 
have not seen him again. Glory be to the God of Olukoya for delivering me from spirit husband harassment. Praise the Lord. I thank the Lord of hosts for delivering me from the spirit of the grave. I had two evil dreams within the same week. I prayed seriously to cancel those dreams and send the arrows back to the sender. On Sunday during the ministration, Dr. Lukoya mentioned a prayer point which I prayed and he quoted Psalms 118 verse 17. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. Immediately after the grace, I rushed into the restroom and the hand of the Lord purged out the unwanted stranger in my body. I also want to thank God for his divine protection over me and every member of my family. Surely the Lord is here. This testifier says, The great physician has done it for me. My womb area had been painful for about three years. When I joined the great physician hour, the Lord transformed my body. I praise the God of Olukaya and trust him for the fruit of the womb in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise God for his healing hand that touched me during Dr. Luca's ministration. A boil surfaced between my ear and my neck. It was very painful and made me feverish. When we were instructed to smite where we had pain, I smote the area where I had the boil and my temperature came down. Praise God. The next testimony says, I give God all the glory for healing me. I had long forgotten what it was like to have peace within my body, but the Lord gave me hope and has restored peace within my body. Each day, the Lord drove out the strangers moving in my body. My healing is sealed in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, Amen. I thank God for his guidance concerning listening to the harp instrumental of Psalms to help me with the restoration of my body and finding peace. I feel the power of God working in me. God also delivered me from spiritual and physical satanic and demonic attacks. I now have victory dreams where I defeat my enemies through the grace of God. I give God all the glory. Praise the Lord. If you would like to share your testimonies with us, kindly send them to our WhatsApp number plus 234-704-291-3538 or our email address testimony at mountainoffire.org. Thank you and God bless you. Shout a loud hallelujah. A louder hallelujah. Let's up our two hands to the Lord and sing this song loud and clear. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah for the Lord God, O many potent raiment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, God, God, O many potent raiment. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Sing it again loud and clear. Hallelujah, for the Lord, God, O many potent raiment. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise 
For another time before you we thank you because unto you be the glory from the church both now and forevermore we thank you because blessings abound where you reign and those who are in captivity are set free thank you for this last Sunday of this first month of this year we give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. I decree by the decree of heaven that all your children that were brought here this morning, because no one comes to the mountain of fire and miracles ministry by chance. Those who come come by divine appointment. All your children that have appointed to be here this morning. Anything the enemy has stolen from them whether you know about it or you don't know about it whether it's unconscious theft unconscious theft as you shout 21 Jericho destroying amen repossess your possession in the name of Jesus louder 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 makatenda kaya bo shendera bo kopola bakasanda Ribosopola katenda kaya bo shendera bo kosota makandera bo sopila kaya bo bo kaya bo shendera bo kopola bo kopola kataya ba. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your two hands forward. As somebody wants to receive something and don't say anything. Stretch the hands forward. Like somebody wants to place something on your hands just stretch it forth like that and don't say anything you that you have been brought here by the Holy Ghost today or you are connected to us the document that has been stolen from you in the spirit realm you had a certificate but only the paper is in your hand 
the spirit of it has been stolen away repossessed repossess your children repossess your business repossess your home repossess them repossess your health repossess them my party and catches her. Lee Caribou repossessed them. Can you shout this loud and clap before you sit down? Make sure your voice is the loudest and the most aggressive. Hate my progress. Be disappointed. Are you ready for that prayer? Open your mouth and pray it louder. name we pray a louder amen let's have a seat God bless you last week we began to look at a destiny topic a deep topic I'm so happy that many people pray the prayers that you were supposed to pray but we have by no means come to the end of the matter so you do well to listen to me again carefully this morning even if you are not used to listen to sermons there is a reason the Lord kept emphasizing this emphasizing it. in Psalm 25 Psalm 25 verse 14 Psalm 25 verse 14 The secret of the Lord God has secrets The secret of the Lord Is with them that fear him And he will show them his covenant Life it's a mystery when we say mystery a mystery is a coded information and on this close information and on revealed information a cryptic information a deep matter deep secret something that goes beyond normal human understanding the mystery is an undisclosed thing that is hidden life itself is a mystery life has problems life has secrets there are hidden dimensions of yourself that you may not be aware about there is a hidden part of your life that even at your present age you have not been able to unlock 
Because every human life is involved in a deep mystery. As a matter of fact, there are secrets about your life that you need to know. There is a personal mystery you need to know so you can unlock your destiny. And in order to reach your maximum goal in life, you need to unlock this, your personal mystery. The principle of scripture is very simple. Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, you shall find. Knock, the door shall be open. He said, Whosoever ask receives. But when you don't ask, you won't see anything. God reveals secrets to his people. Going through life without your personal mystery unlocking who you are limits your potential. It makes your life to be without impact. Going through life without knowing that deepest secret about yourself. That's, that's what makes servants to take hold of a person's horse and is riding it while the person is trekking. It is not knowing these secrets that makes you to choose a pattern that your life should not follow. You start passing examinations, nobody asks you to take the exam. It makes a man to fish and catch nothing in the ocean of life. It makes you a material for testing new weapons. The enemy will be using it to test new, new equipment, new weapons. Then, most importantly, it could make you to die before your time. It could make you to die before your time. It could also make you a permanent slave. When you see people who are slaves to prophets, slaves to pastors, slaves to herbalists, slaves to witch doctors, it may be there is a secret about their lives they don't know. Look at it now. By design. By design. Some people are not supposed to put one drop of alcohol in their mouth till they die. Some are not supposed to smoke till they die. There are some women. They are not supposed to be disbarging before they marry. But because they don't know all these personal secrets about their lives, they break the rule. Prayer now becomes very difficult. For example, the angel told the parents of Samson, You are going to have a child. But you yourself, don't drink, don't do this, don't do that. So they already gave them instructions. Those, those, are the, those are the mysteries we're talking about. If those parents broke that law, they would have wasted something. If something is said that they say you should not be drinking, started drinking, then there will be a problem. These are the mysteries we're talking about. And this is why we still need to seriously pray. The wisdom of God is hidden. Therefore, you must ask God to grant you access to it. So it look at Job chapter 29. Job 29. Verse 4. Job 29, 4. There are many who need to cry out in desperate. 
accurate prayer. Father, show me my personal mystery. Father, show my house to my house. Father, show me to myself. Father, show me the secrets of my life. Father, show me beneficial secrets that will catapult my destiny. Job 29.4 As I was in the days of my youth, when the secrets Secret of God, secret of God was in my tabernacle. You need access. That secret has to be in your tabernacle. You need access into the mystery of the world, access to the mystery of the kingdom, access to the mystery. Of your life, business as secrets, marriage as secrets, every profession as secrets. There is an information you need from God. When a man taps into that information, his destiny explodes. There is no reason for anyone to be poor if you can tap into that mystery you may be trading now but when you pray to know the secrets the Lord may say daughter this is not your business of prosperity start selling granuts sell peanuts sell peanuts I'm already an estate agent so, no it's peanuts those are the kind of things I'm telling you now you see immediately you get that code from heaven <laughs> and you engage it no you, you, you surprise yourself what kind of breakthroughs you are going to have that's why I want you to raise up your right hand now I with a voice that roars like thunder When you tap into information from heaven, your destiny explodes. Who was like that woman who went to the to God and prayed some prayers like this? She was the vice principal of a school, but her poverty was so embarrassing. <laughs> Before the end of the month, <laughs> vice principal is uh, borrowing money from school teachers. <laughs> so she, she got to level and said, I'm tired of this. I, I am tired of this. I'm prayed. And God said, Daughter, what is this at the back of your house? Say, Lord. Mashy ground. Lord says, daughter, resign. And begin to plant and sell vegetables. Vegetable. I, I, I bind that voice. God said, you can't bind me. You want to die in poverty? Plant vegetables. See, this can't be true. Have 
a master's degree a vegetable well she listened and converted the back of that garden to vegetable farm beloved when she started it got to an embarrassing level that people come to the market and they wait for her to bring her own vegetables there are other vegetable sellers so no 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 i'm waiting for mommy sunday mm, no, no 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 it's after she's finished selling others will not begin to sell the day she didn't come to the market other vegetable sellers were very happy i'm praying for somebody here the secret that will cut Watch your destiny. Receive that revelation in the name of Jesus. Receive it. 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 Let your heaven rule like thunder. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Let your heaven rule like thunder. Receive it in the name of Jesus. This information set the space for your distinction what i'm sharing with you now many pastors may not tell you if you are always struggling your career struggling your business struggling your finance struggling your family struggling in your academics then something something has not been revealed to you you don't know it yet you're running all over the place trying to catch your husband sleeping with women around something that you don't know madam there's something you don't know you have run up to control your husband the man is just going like butterfly all over the place there is secret madam but you don't know there's something you need to know once you get hold of that secret that is it god's hidden wisdom is the answer to every problem once you make contact with that heavenly wisdom you become an extraordinary person what am i saying success has secrets business have secrets marriage has secrets the secret you need is with god but not everybody only scanty amount of people has discovered those hidden beneficial secrets this kind of information <laughs> is it something the devil doesn't want anybody to know that's why the words of jesus became re becomes relevant now See, this kind go it not for apart from fasting and prayer there's certain information you can't get unless you fast and pray See, there's a demon that cannot shift until you apply fasting and prayer there are some things that need one hour of continuous unbreakable prayer before they can even shift some two hours three hours seven hours seven days before you can shift it you can shift it ice cream prayer will not shift it microwave prayer will not shift it you need solid concentrated acidic constant bombarding rugged prayers to move it away if you look back at your family and you that there is practically nobody you know 
in your family that is financially sufficient since you know all of them and you find yourself towing the same line <laughs> there's a secret you need to know the family may actually have a hidden wealth that you don't know yet there are some families in the book of heaven the instruction that all the members of this family the only thing they can do to prosper is to be selling salt 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 that is the code but one of them is the doctor and that one is bricola and that one is this and all of them uniformly poor uniformly poor that, ex that explains when a brother came to cry to me many years ago say daddy there are seven of us in the family six of us are born again one is a native doctor say that one that is a native doctor why is it that he's the one who has money and all these believers are broke that's okay you say, is the man a full time native doctor which doctor no say he also sells palm oil he has demonically inquired to know the success business of the family but the believers who are supposed to have the secrets of God don't know they are doing what they should not do no wonder the Bible says the children of darkness they are wiser than the children of light this is a serious matter a lady prayed this prayer prayed I can't go on like this nothing is moving nothing is working she prayed this prayer three days no food, no water, no drink she saw some white men white men almost ten of them they were dressing in black she didn't understand who are these people i'm a black lady what are these white men so she, she was so, so confused she continued the prayer she continued the prayer she continued the prayer until one night again when the prayer got to the correct level an angel stood before her and he said my daughter well done do you see those white men with black attires your grandfather mistakenly caused trouble between these two white families and that mistake that your grandfather made caused the white two white families to fight and kill themselves this is why you have been like this you need to pray atonement prayer to free yourself from this captivity how will she have known this if you are just praying normal prayers normal prayers then about time that, that boy prayed he didn't know why things were not working after a few days of prayer and fasting he had a strange voice son your father is your grandfather my father is my grandfather he now began to ask questions until they told him a deep family secret deep 
family secret. The, the father of his father slept with the wife of his son and they get back to him. And so his life was upside down. The family knew the secret but they kept quiet. But it was affecting his life. I'm praying for somebody here this morning. I said all the secrets you need to know to move you to the next level. As we shall say, ten Goliath destroying amen. Receive that secret in the name of Jesus. Let me move a little bit further. In Jeremiah, chapter 1. Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 4 then the word of the Lord came unto me saying before I formed thee in the belly I knew thee and before thou comest forth out of thy womb before thou comest out of the womb I sanctify thee and I ordain thee a prophet unto the nations from the womb he has not come out yet not come out yet he had been sanctified anointed ordained the mother's womb as a prophet if after Jeremiah was born and he began to farm he will fail if he does not know how to pray to unlock his mystery it will crawl unknown to an unknown grave I don't know whether you understand what I'm telling you but you may be lucky one day and a man will say Mr. Man God said you are a prophet don't do this thing I did again it will work it will work so the secret of the life of Jeremiah is that he has been ordained by the Bible College of Heaven in the womb he has been ordained as a prophet in the womb strange but it is true in Luke chapter 1 verse 13 to 17 I'm reading you another example so you know how to pray when the time comes and you know how to continue the press tonight after quenching the rage Luke 1 13 but the angel said unto him fear not Zacharias for thy prayer is hard and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son and thou shalt call his name John and thou shalt have joy and gladness and many shall rejoice at his birth now listen this is, this is the secret the beneficial secret the code the personal mystery of John the Baptist for he shall be great in the sight of the Lord and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost even from his mother's womb and many of the children of Israel shall be turned to the Lord their God 
and it shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the eyes of the fathers of the children and disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord that was the mystery of John the Baptist if after he was born or doing something else <laughs> with what they have said right, against what they have said about him here it will be a big failure that's why the scripture we read last week when they went to John the Baptist who are you who, 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 what says thou about thyself are you Elijah no are you that prophet no then who are you he knew I am the voice cry in the wilderness make straight the path of the Lord many are born great but they die unknown many are born warriors but they die as slaves many are born as millionaires but they die paupers many are born heads they die as tails many are born as world changers but they die in frustration many are born as runners but they die as crawlers many are born as eagles but they die as chicken many are born as champions but they die as losers God knew Jeremiah when he was in his mother's belly God sanctioned him and ordained him to be a prophet if by any abortion that baby was killed then it will not have been Jeremiah alone that was killed Jeremiah's mother will not have known but God knows his mother might not have known that he was a pot potentially mighty prophet that was aborted but he was in God's agenda and God will have felt the loss God will have felt the loss so, I ordained somebody a prophet and this man and this woman aborted the person heaven will feel the loss and they will deal with that person not demons heaven for wasting a heavenly resource do you see why some people have trouble and deliverance God is not able to help because the problem is not demon is that you are supposed to go to the east you are traveling in the west so God knew you before you were formed and he has a plan for your life there is a secret you need to know I'm going to stop here for today continue next Sunday rise to your feet now and all eyes closed in case you are here this morning you are not born again you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus right there where you are please up your right hand and see what I'm going to say after me say father in the name of Jesus I come before you now Lord Jesus come into my life take control of my life in Jesus name Amen so that short prayer with me the counselors the ushers will be with you God bless you in Jesus name time to pray these three prayers I want you to pray we call them veil 
removing prayer. Because the enemy has put veil on the face of so many people. So, so because he doesn't want you to know who you really are. And even if you know who you are, he doesn't want you to know your beneficial secrets. Please pray this prayer without any apology. Can you shout this loud and clear? Shout it at the top of your voice. Shout it the way you've never shouted any prayer. Shout it the way blind Bartimaeus shouted. Oh God, arise! Open my eyes! In the name of Jesus! a money to negotiate. It's a money to let your voice rise to the heavens. Boka pola katende kete la boko shente rabosa. Maribo sopole ke ya bo shende raboko center. Yes. Then we pray. <laughs> you need to pray with concentration. Sisters, are you here? Sisters, shout the way I'm going to shout. Holy Ghost! Decode my life. Decode me so I will understand who I am. Sisters, can I hear you shouting this? Is that the ladder and sisters can pray that prayer? Brothers, can I hear you shouting loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray oh God of turn around turn my life around in the name of Jesus Then we pray a louder amen. Please bring out your thirst and offering for this meeting. Father, we thank you for the thirst and the offering. Good measure, present falling over. Let it be the lot of your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You can see the offering boxes close to you. You can put the offering boxes there. Don't forget, next Saturday is the Palm of St. John's. And it's the first fruit offering service. God bless in Jesus' name. We'll listen to the choir ministration. Thank you. 
Lord, a very loud hallelujah. 
Make it a glorious hallelujah. If today is your first time worshiping with us, kindly rise up on your feet. And if you have given your life to Christ today too, rise up on your feet for recognition. Our counselors and evangelists, they will meet you immediately with decision slips and welcoming packs. Monday Bible studies and prayer quick section at the international headquarters here continues every Monday time 5 to 7 p.m. Our, our Sunday services are still two Sunday services here. First, first service is 7 to, to 9 a.m. and second service 10 to 12 noon. You can only participate in just one service. The ministry requires the services of administrators to fill the following positions in the ministry. Director of Administration, MFM International, Director of Administration, MFM Nigeria, and Chief Administrative Officer, MFM International Headquarters. The requirement is minimum of first degree with 10 to 12 years of experience in similar role within the corporate environment. Kindly submit your resume to the office of the General Vasia or send it to the email is on the screen. Recruitment at mountainoffire.org on or before 5th February 2021. The church also needs the services of members with experiences experience in the following fields to boost our digital team social media management seo analysis content creation and developer graphic designer web developer copywriters interested members should also please send their cvs to our email mfmhq at me at mountain of fire.org is also on the screen also, this one is a special announcement. The General Vasia will be desirous to meet members with IT background and knowledge at the end of the second service today, 31st January 2021, at the end of the second service. Please make sure you are available and we are together at the auditorium beside the altar, auditorium C. First fruit offering, as we all know, comes up at the next Palm Must Change Hands program on Sunday, on Saturday, 6th February 2021. This very Saturday. So make sure you are here and get the blessing attached to the, to the first fruit. Our quenching the prayers still continues. It started Thursday, 7th of January till 7th of February 2021. Time is 12 midnight to 12.15. The youth program titled Eagle R, featured every Sunday of the week by 7 p.m., is going to be made available to all of us on MFM TV and all our online platforms. It commenced Sunday, 7th February 2021. All our online services still continues. Palmer's Changes for Saturday of every month, 7 o'clock. Saturday, Great Physician Hour, 9.30 p.m. Monday, Revival Hour, 10.30 p.m. Wednesday Mana Water Service for 30 p.m. You can link on MFM TV and all other social medias. Group, house fellowship programs, and all are still on hold till for now. Please, all announcements concerning the schools. MFM school are on hold for now. New date will be announced later.
please kindly know that it is compulsory that you comply with the safety and health protocol regulations during all our services in the church by wearing your face mask and washing and sanitizing temperature check and keeping social distances god bless us all in jesus name can we close our eyes can shout this prayer very loud say every agenda of the enemy to confuse my life scatter by fire in the name of jesus Resurrection power, work miracles in my life today. Today, work miracles in my life. The resurrection power, work miracles in my life today. Today, work miracles. Sing it loud and clear. Resurrection power, work miracles in my life. you from Zion and make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you you shall go from strength to strength and from glory to glory no weapon from against your life shall prosper the almighty will arise for your sake and it's as you continue to pray these prayers these prayers of deep wisdom 
you shall have a turnaround breakthrough. As you go into another month, it shall be well with you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. No evil shall be for you. Neither shall any pestilence come into your camp. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Before we share the grace, I'd like you to open your mouth like fire, like thunder. Say, thou power of this pandemic. Release our nation in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Release our nation in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Surely, goodness and mercy follow. All the days of life, we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Seven miracles receiving. Hallelujah. Let's go. This is to the general public and to all our social media platform subscribers and viewers. Please note that no platform of the Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministries with Dr. D.K. Oluko's name and picture will ever...